Friends, today is uh, Saturday, August 12, 2023, and this is Luke uh, 17, verse 21. I'm going to be reading for us today, the final day of this first week of this new series on the divine commands of Jesus in, as we have them in the Gospel of Matthew. And we've been looking at the command to repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Uh, Luke, uh, in, in chapter 17, 21, ta- he says a lot of interesting things about the kingdom. Some of those that Jesus, that Jesus says are in parables. Uh, this one is not. He said, Jesus says this, nor will they look and say, look, here it is, or there it is. For in fact, the kingdom of God is among you. Very interesting. So there is within Jesus' ministry an interesting fact that there are some people who see the kingdom at work. They see the deeds of the kingdom. When he preaches his first sermon in uh, Nazareth, he quotes from Isaiah 61 about the blind receiving their sight and the lame walking and uh, the deaf hearing and the, and the poor having good news preached to them. And those are all things that happen in Jesus' ministry regularly. Some people saw this as the coming of the kingdom and others did not. They um, resisted it. And Jesus is saying here, look, you know, it's not gonna be as obvious as you think it's not going to come with drum rolls and drama from the sky uh, where everything is instantly changed. The kingdom of God isn't going to work like that in history. Um, Jesus uh, wanted to encourage us to understand this in a variety of ways. He not only called for re- repentance and announced that the kingdom was among us, but he also uh, commanded and taught. And in the Sermon on the Mount, he showed us ways we, we've, ways we could live that are different than the way we are living. Uh, He also welcomed people in their need and their insufficiency who accepted his authority into his company. He formed a community. Uh, And everyone who who did these things, who saw their need, uh, repented and entered into his community um, and acknowledged his rule, uh, he he, um, celebrated. Because, in fact, the kingdom exists where Jesus reigns. And that begins in human hearts. And so the Jewish, Jewish folks were expecting this public uh, kind of coercive physical victory of some kind over evil forces in the world. But the, the, the victory over evil forces comes through God's presence in our hearts. That is the first and greatest battleground. And, and God isn't fundamentally coercive. So he invites us to relinquish our authority and to uh, share his victory over sin and evil and death. And so um, that happens internally first, and then we begin to express it externally. Um, this process of examining ourselves, repenting, and kingdom entering, in one sense, it's, it's, it, it happens one time. We make, we make a commitment. In another sense, we, we repent on a daily basis because asking for forgiveness is part of the Lord's Prayer, which is a daily prayer. In order to become more like Christ, we have to go through a process where we are continually facing reality checks, seeing areas of our life where we could grow uh, or where we've regressed a little and we need, to, we need to pull ourselves back to normal. And so that process is a healthy process and a good process. It's an honest process. And, um, and God is in the middle of it, changing us into the people that he is calling us to be. Let's take a moment and pray. Help us to see our lives and hearts clearly, to trust in your grace, and to believe in your power to make us new. Help us to practice repentance in a daily way. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for being with us this week.